This is inside the fertilizer spreader. So yesterday Sam was spreading some ferric phosphate slug pellets, which is basically just pasta and it's not harmful to anything other than slugs. Anyway, we're gonna put a bit more on today on some of the oil seed rape that's getting eaten. And we're gonna mix a little bit of rape seed in. So if it if we spread it, it may grow. It doesn't like spreading slug pellets to 36 meters, so he's spreading it every 12. Sorry, every 24, which luckily it's the fields he's been on. Some of the ones where we messed up with the tram line, so he's had somewhere to drive. Anyway, it's on the 724. Update on project barn rebuild. We've not done anything since Tuesday because we've been on other things. We've just got that peak to do now over the front. That's finished. It will look good with a clock on, but it might look like a church then. And then it's down this side to do. We've just got to make sure we've got enough for the old bricks because a lot of them are quite crumbly. This bit of the yard was always flooding because it's a lot lower than this track and a little bit lower than the field. So we've built it up with some hardcore and then we've got some road planes to go back over it again now. So it'll just be that little bit, bit better for drainage because it was used to having a hard standing that was just full of puddles. So James was on this at the beginning of the week. Summer barley update. Got a few sunflowers here, but it's all in whisker. If you look, I don't know where the grains will fill. Maybe we might not get enough daylight. We haven't had a bad September though. But it's definitely a crop there. Even if it's just for straw. So we'll just keep an eye on it and see how long it takes to, to ripen. And then sunflowers. They're growing away fine. Still don't understand why that bit there is a lot higher. Something obviously going on there. I don't know whether when they put digestate on it the year before, whether they spilt a bit perhaps. But some flowers look good. Little buds in them as well. A lot of cover from them, which is nice. This is some wheat after beans. If you look now, the, the weed has all died, gone brown. And then now we've got the green of the week coming through. It's another one where we had the tram line malfunction with the 12 meter tram lines. I was just shooting some pigeons over there. So yeah, it looks okay, I think. Letter back from the DVLA, helpful as ever, not. We can now change the registration on the fast track, but it's one that they've just given us that's just like rubbish. Gotta go and pick the digger up. Do we take 360 horsepower? 240 horsepower to be honest i'll take that one because otherwise i've got to move it out of the way anyway loads of people suggestions for the cool wall obviously the 95 the 936 makes it by default but it's got to be a black one and i think the next one was a 1455 and then an mb track so really good suggestions but i think i don't i won't put anything on unless it's had a good few sort of comments about it anyway first thing's going to be a black 936 on there lots of Lots of people saying a fast track as well. And a few questions for the MB, sorry, a few mentioned the MB track. It's actually one on eBay at the moment that I was looking at. But it's a bit expensive. Well, it's not expensive. It's probably cheap, but it's a bit expensive for what I want to spend at the moment. So I'll go and put the digger up. That camera on that pickup pitch is so handy because you just can't see it at all. Get the reassuring click. Drop it back down so the weight's not on the arms. Go. Just go and plug all my pipes in now and the ABS. All loaded and strapped down. Off we go. I did get all the way here with the low loader and the fast track to find the key had been left at the other farm in the digger. You know, luckily Tony was here to give me a lift back to go and get it. Otherwise I'd have to turn around on the tractor and go back. But I didn't find out there's no key here until I dropped the ramps and got ready for loading. Taking off it as well, don't it? The, um, the message. Yeah. Film it in case he falls off. Looks small that digger now and that's why it looks massive. Rusty Frank. 
Set his side, man. Oh well, never fell off. Want to make a bail wedge? You just do that, and then back down again. It is good this trailer, but I just notice there's a bit of a crack appearing around that well there. To weld that up, otherwise that ramp could just sort of fall down. Won't be good going down the road, you have some sparks. I'm in the fast track and there's like a little like whistle. And I don't know whether it's coming from the speakers or it's coming from the uh, con. But it, it sounds like interference. Sometimes when you turn on LED lights, they can interfere with the speakers and they whistle. And it's really annoying in the con. Can't get it to stop, but I bet you can't hear it in on the screen. The environment agency have been over there at the pumps, and they've put like a white pole up, and I don't know what it is. So I'm going to go down and have a look. So believe it or not, this is a main water course that the environment agency used to look after. They crept away in the dark, totally overgrown. Can't really see the water in the bottom of it. A bit of Japanese not weed grown here as well, but. They've done some essential work today. You know? They've put a new sign up. No, it's quite clever though. It's got what three words on it? But yeah, two vans, few men all day. New sign. But actually, getting the water to the sea down that channel. That's not important. And I don't know who's going to read that sign because the workers that come don't don't. Well, they don't get any workers coming here because they don't do any work. They don't clean the channel out. They, they come once a week and look in this box and check that the pumps are running. But I don't know, I bet, I bet you that's probably cost about a thousand pounds to put in that. This is the field of wheat behind the yard. It's green now from wheat, not weed. But it's the one where we didn't quite have the pressure set correctly on the drill. So on some of the heavier bits here, it's just a bit thinner. And obviously we've had something maybe looks like it's been chewed by a crow or a pigeon or something and then we've got like a little bit a little bit of tipping on the leaves that's probably caused by the herbicide we've put on it the phone we're gonna focus no anyway it's just a little bit yellow some of them but it's not too bad just some areas are just a little bit but nearly porched but Hopefully get some early fertiliser on it, if we can get some in the spring, and it should do all right. The collection is scrap off the magnets. We have some magnets slung underneath here. We check it every so often. That's what's come off it today. That's what's come off it the last few weeks. Most of them are all chipper teeth. So the UK is running out of fuel. Luckily, my car can run on the electric. Everyone in the country, well, 90% of the population in the country drive around with less than half a tank in the car. And now they've all gone and filled it up and emptied all the garages. And they can't fill the garages back up because there's not enough wagon drivers. We're nearly short of electric because we can't get it from, from France. And the gas price is through the roof. So it's all right running this on electric when there's no petrol or diesel. But when the electric runs out, what am I going to do then? Because the solar panels won't work in the winter. I need a car that runs on wood chip, I think, which is steam. So you'd have to have like some sort of steam engine. So we're going to be back in the Middle Ages in a few months in the UK by the looks of things. This field was potatoes. Anyway, Bill and Joe have cleared it now. So we're just working it up now before we get any bad weather. Taking out any compaction that might have been caused from, from the trailers. It's quite light lamb though. And then hopefully next week we can get it sown as so long as it's not raining too much. It's just working, so the drills went that way and he's working on a slight angle, so hopefully it levels it out a bit better for when we're drilling with our drill, because our drill doesn't do any disturbance, so it doesn't do any levelling. So we want the field level before we start. And if you look, because it had potatoes on it, it's got like a little ridges and bumps. A bit hard to see on the camera, because they're not three dimensional, but it's quite, it's quite rough going that way. So hopefully, should level it out now. Just flying along with it.
I need to say happy 939 day to Tom Reese in Wales, who's finally seen the light and bought a 900 series Fent. And I believe he's got a Bateman on order as well. Anyway, he's well chuffed with it. And I'm a bit sick, to be fair, because it looked better value for money than that one I just bought. But anyway, that's just the way it goes. It wasn't really there when I was looking. Well, actually it was, but it was POA, price and application, which normally suggests it's very expensive. So top tip if you're selling tractors, don't put POA, just put the price. Anyway, that's how it goes, isn't it? That's about all for today. This is now running. It's also Lucas Richardson's birthday, so happy birthday to him as well. So might have a little play on that the weekend because my dad reckons it's really quick and I need to have a go at it. I don't think it'll be as fast as a fast track though. Anyway, if you want to watch another video, it's over there. If you want to subscribe, it's over here. And don't forget, if you're a new subscriber, say where you're watching from and any ideas for the cool wall, let me know. But a black 936 is definitely going on it.